Hello everybody and welcome back. Um, we are in the middle of a rebellion, um, but in that case we are defending ourselves against that and in the midst of all of it my daughter um, has been born. We can call her Ellen. Uh, may, you be, uh, may you grow to be strong and wise, my daughter. Very good. I still am hoping for a son there, but it's only the first out of many. Now, up there, nothing else. We do have now, by the way, I mean, I'm still a bit uncertain how it... Why there is a daughter that can actually inherit when we have the male preference. Oh, okay. If there is no man available, right? And we cannot change that for now. But in that case here, my daughter will take over now once I die. And... Yep, 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 yep. We got also a lot of coin in there with all the raiding we did. Let's just see where the main faction is right now. Where are they? So first of all, we are, t we are laying siege to this island there right away. And a shady discussion. There's also something happening at my court. Alfio and Kjolburn to my ear. Um, the two courtiers are talking to each other in a secluded spot. And it is clear it relates my uncle, who is at war with me right now. And hmm, we could imprison them both. So either they have something to do with him in a positive manner or in a negative manner. And I don't know yet what it is. We could spend something to learn the subject we could also torture them <laughs> or we just say nothing to it we could imprison both of them who are they anyway he's one of my champions he doesn't really like me and his spouse also doesn't really like me um let's imprison both of them oh i will have them delivered to sigurd no that i don't want right um then let's keep them going at it perhaps they're plotting against him that we've taken something where is his main army by the way i have no idea i haven't seen them yet his main army is are they fighting down here perhaps yes they're fighting down here he's fighting against denmark right or uh, denmark and sweden it seems and i don't think that he's going to have much of a chance there it's going to be a joy of putting him into my prison cells into my dungeons and i've also received a missive from jarl anundur it claims that Yal Serkver, my spy master, requested support in a plot against me. Difficult decision. So first of all, my spy master, yeah, he's a powerful vassal and he doesn't like me that much. But this guy here likes me even less. Um, I will confront them. He's guilty. So there are a lot of decisions in this point here right now that I have no complete control over. We will um, confront him and we actually get a weak hook on Serkver for this. He actually, of course, is not that happy with it. Um, we can pay him a bit of money. Let's do this, since we have too much money anyway. And, of course, it's all happening while I am at war. We have a few prisoners there who are part of the faction, so I can't release them yet, or I will not release them yet, in fact. We have taken the capital of this usurper. And do -do -do -dum, where should we go next? There. There it is. We have hostile territory let's actually go where we have the supply limit for us and oh very good the king of sweden has taken the son of the usurper as prisoner doesn't affect us yet yet we could pay for him but we are of course not doing that mm, looking rather good we have a war score of 32 percent but that's still not enough to force him to give up on anything, right? Um, there, let's help those guys there. And, oh, wait a second. I totally forgot about that. I have a spouse who is pretty good at stewardship skill, right? So in this case here, there is a nice um, thing coming out. 75% chance that we do get a successful business endeavor in the Chieftain of Sogn. Um... Or, this talk about local affairs is beneath me, we do get 150 prestige. And since pre prestige is so much more important, let's actually go for that. It's more important than a bit of tax income for 10 years, um, since we have the money there. Oh, and we are ill, do more what is necessary. I do have a good court physician with 18 there. And yes, it actually worked, but only for a year. Oh boy, I hope we're not going to die at some point. I only have a daughter right now that I might actually put a focus on stewardship. Right, let's have her doing that and we're also going to educate her with someone who is good at stewardship. Um, hopefully someone there, Thrifty Clark. Let's do this, he's the best one that we have right now. 
Um, nothing else I can do for the moment. Very good. We've taken another thing. It's still only 34%. Hmm, and we don't have any supplies anymore. My territory is still safe. I think he's taken... No, he hasn't taken this one back. What is going on? Why is he so... Chief Dag? he could be in prison now. I'm going to use my prestige right away for a couple of things while we're still at war. First of all, in, uh, to increase the size of our armies there once again. So the bowmen here we can... Um, increase now to the highest level there, so level 5, that's quite a lot of bowmen there. Um, I will not do much more because it's really costing me a lot, but that has been an increasement, very good. Um, on the one part, on the other part, we can uh, use it to um, improve the constructions in our own domains. Like the war camp here, for example, gives me some more levies. I would like to go with um, something more like the ground holes um, to increase our prestige rating there as well. Right, tribal holding gives me more levies there, also more tax income that we might use at some point. Um, there we have the longhouse. Let's upgrade this one here to the ground holes. So this gives me a nice prestige bonus. And perhaps we can do it with one more territory. We have only three domains, what I can see right now. This doesn't even belong to me. So we should be getting a new, another county for ourselves, to be honest. Yep. Because we only have those three core domains here right now, and it's actually not enough. So we're upgrading this, that is fine. And that we would have the market, which give me, well, a bit of more coin. The war camps, the palisade, nothing of that would give me any prestige. And we have a lot of that. We at least also lost the trade ill once again. That means we are up to our highest fertility and I'm hoping that we are getting some more children out there at least um, for that. And also a new martial skill, man's home, control territory advantage, defender advantage, very good. And I'm still aiming for that overseer trade there as well. Let's just see where the armies are. So there we have our army. Um, 3,000 soldiers strong right now. Someone is raiding us up here. Let's try and get there. Right, so that we can take them out, which is pretty important. And also, I have increased my glory with that a bit. Actually, we have a very nice renown level coming in there right now. Two per month. That is quite a lot. We can do something with that. I think there is the enemy armies. Let's get over there. The king of Denmark, he should be following me on track. So wherever I go, as we can see, he's also getting his ships over there. Very good. And we might actually now... Yeah. He's got his army now going in there, so we might just do the same, and he should be doing the same as well. This is pretty cool. This is what I like. The allies really follow you when you have some strategy that is coming along, right? And there we have, as we can see, a pretty big battle here right now with over 5,000 either part, and they've lost, which is pretty important. And Ellen is a happy child. She's also charming, so <laughs> gives her more diplomacy and intrigue, our daughter. And I think at this battle someone died. And another thing, letter-bound secrets. This is happening for my cousin. My contacts have sent me a tome written in some strange code. I could now find out the secrets about it. We do get some stress, but we have no stress at all right now. And we get a perk right of it. We get some money. Let's go with the perk. Even though we get a bit of stress, but it's fine. And we can use that one here to increase the fort levels. Enduring hardships. Alrighty, so he lost a pretty big battle there. Uh, plus 50 we are now. It's still not enough though. Let's take this one here back. Where is he actually? This is a pretty big war. Chancellor. We also need a new Chancellor there. Mm, my half-brother and champion, he's very bad. I only have bad Chancellors so far. Let's put him in there so he gets me a bit of uh, the, the opinion of my vassals up there, which is very important. And my marshal. Do we have enough champions? Oh, we don't. Let's have him find some new champions for me. Development we can keep up there. And my Godi. No, she will still not accept that. Oh, she will start endorsing us. Let's do this. Very good. At least our Godi is endorsing us now. Right, 61 score. Come on, this war drags on. Where is his other army? There they are. We might just take them out now. We still have 2,300 soldiers and my queen is pregnant again. Beautiful. We need that. Uh-huh. He's fleeing now. No chance there though. We are 6,000 strong in this regard. 
because I have my ally always with me. And another battle that he's losing. Um, I just hope that in one of these battles we take him as a prisoner at some point. We're at 75% war score now. I still haven't gotten him in one of the battles. We also find a new um, champion that we can use. So it's this guy here. He's got 19 prowess skill. Of course, come into my court, come into my court. And this guy here we can also recruit. He's got a 9 prowess skill, still better than nothing. Very, very good. So, where is he going next? We're going to chase him up there. Oh, he's going far away, as it seems. His other army. We still have this one occupied. Pretty harsh there. So my my oh actually he's got these counties that Terry um, occupied and my allies already helping me there as well. Oh by the way, let's abort this and let's get over there right away to capture him. Um, my son, I got a son. Gnooper is still not a very good son name. Frodi, Heising, Hastein, Storla, Tyke. I love these names. Holmger, Asbjorn, something powerful. Gorn, that reminds me of some other things. Egil. Schooly. Schooly Skull. This is a pretty cool name. We got our son now. Schooly of the House of Skald. <laughs> Schooly Bjornsson. He's going to have, oh god, education focus. It's going to be hard. Um, also, we are under siege. So many things happening right now thanks to this rebellion. Uh, the true enemy of every soldier is complacency, my brother Bo says before folding his hands. We are standing side by side upon my castle walls, looking down on the soldiers, conducting drills below. Let's just see what we need to do here. Lead the soldiers in a mock charge against the castle and see how well they do. Good idea. And I might get a martial lifestyle perk. Let's do this. My son, I would really like to go for stewardship. This makes it very good for us to, um, you know, administer our big realm. We could also go for learning um, to promote our culture. In that case, we don't have more counties yet than the King of Sweden. Once we have that, so I think the son of my son might be doing that. But for my son, I would really like to go with stewardship since he's also going to be our heir. So this is the focus there. Let's also educate him. Do we have someone that is good at that? Stewardship. Hmm... Really? We have no one with a stewardship skill. I will need to invite someone to my court then. This is unacceptable. There is someone. Greedy. <laughs> no greedy, I'm not doing that. There's really no, not a single one in my court. Okay, we need to find someone there. Under siege, so we have that once again. Thanks to our trade flexible leader, um, we can go through the sewers. So these events are kind of like, you know, I know the text now inside out. We just debate some battle strategies there. Um, let's continue. The attack progress as well. Oh, why is this happening while I fight a rebellion? Taking up the final uh, steps um, once again. So take, uh, take a deep breath. What should we do now? Everyone with me. Archers, take up your positions or hit them hard. Um, yeah, let's have archers. Taking up that, and we have been successful. We get a lifestyle perk and improved defenses for Hurdaland. Very good. Uh, da -da -da -dum. Army gold, maintenance, sounds good. Let's go for that. And let's crush the enemy down here. And my uncle has been injured. He was the commander of this army, so it's uh, there you can see why I should not be the commander of these armies there. We still haven't taken him prisoner. It's taking as long as possible, the whole thing, I guess. Incredible. Um, my ally is still also helping me. He's also cursing me already, most likely, because this is dragging on far too long. Where are you going now? Oh boy, you're down here. He's probably at the head of this army there still. 88% chance. There is uh, one tiny victory, perhaps. Come on, we can do this. Another martial poke there. And 100%. Have we taken him prisoner? No, we haven't. But still, he lost. And we can enforce the demands. And he will be imprisoned, hopefully. Yes. Thank you very much. Holy moly. We also get a nice achievement there. Know your place. Because we have taken a very powerful ally or vassal now as a so uh, as a prisoner. And... Da -da 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 -dum. 
and we well have a lot of prisoners right now also my vassal here who actually waged war against us dear sigurd what should i do with you i could kill him right away i could revoke his titles and i'm pretty sure that this should be working actually right um he's got a, a lot of counties actually and in that case here he will accept anyway um and it's not tyranny because he is a prisoner or he is a criminal well and um, the yaldum of halogaland what do we have close by to us i can only take one of these unfortunately so either that one up here the yaldum or Nordiar, which is the island. No, let's go with Halogaland up here. We would get this one. So he's a known criminal. Um, there is no tyranny uh, in this one here. He will, of course, concede. Um, he also gets a press claim, but it doesn't matter because he's going to rot in my dungeons forever now. And that's it. We do get the Aldom of Halogaland there in our control again. Um, let's do this. Alright, we've done this one, so we have increased our domains up here now. This also belongs to us directly now, that we can use then. Um, we also got a new legacy, thanks to this fight of the rebellion. Um, we have now um, gotten enough points that we can invest, so we can now decide of one of our traits here. So either we go, for example, with the glory, that this would make it easier for us to actually um, get a new or a good marriage out of it. Um, I would like to go with something that increases my... Oh, fertility is pretty good as well, because we do need still... No, actually, we do have a sun. One more sun would be fine. Um, this is also good. If we could breed our own very good geniuses out of this one here. And since we are true Viking kings, I'm going with glory here. So respect and loyalty. Um, in this case, your marriage acceptance is increased, so we can get a better match also for our children. And also here, the prestige plus 10% increase. Um, that we also get sounds pretty good to me right now. Um, of course, we can still go for other stuff as well. In that case here, we have we are now a desirable match. So in that case, people should be lining up in order to get into our house there. Uh, we can still imprison a few guys here. So, oh, there's only a 25% chance I'm not doing that. And this is even a zero chance, so I'm not doing that. I don't want to have another rebellion up on me right now. Um, and the marshal... Uh, chair has been opened up we have still a champion here with plus 15 let's take him there in order to increase our um, opinions that we could also go with an increase in prestige um, for our chancellor do we not have a better one at this point still nope and I still need to find someone with a good stewardship skill actually we got this one here Tyke isn't he a meters touched no he's fortune builder which is good too why can he not educate my my child so that's tyke let's just have a look at that my son and educate him with tyke oh i can't find tyke like this why can i not put tyke on it no idea And just look who we have a, as a guest right now. A fortune builder. Education trade. Um, he's not very good at stewardship, but he's got the trade. So let's recruit him to core. Cost me five coin. Welcome. And now I finally have someone that I can educate my child with. So it's going to be this guy here, Ake, uh, fortune builder. And since we do have that um, education focus there on the stewardship skill, um, I'm hoping that there is really something good coming out of that fortune builder at least. Perhaps even higher than that. Now, as we can see, holy cow. Sweden is getting really powerful there. Um, they don't have the best soldiers, though. But they've got some good alliances. They're also with Denmark. Um, there is still something here independent. So there we still have Upland. I might just take it for myself now. And we also found a new knight that we can use in our army. He's allied to Prussia. Really? This guy here is allied to Prussia, that's why he's still independent, most likely. And actually, it's secured with two um, marriages, right? So it's not that easy to actually break apart. If we want to take this one, we would also have to defeat Prussia. Nope, not can, no can do. Um, we have the son. <laughs> we might try to arrange a marriage with our daughter. Um, and have it a matrilineal, but of course he's not a 
accepting that. It was worth it, at least for now. Oh, wait a second. My uncle wants out. No, sorry, uncle. You're going to rot there for now. And we do have some other prisoners, though, that we can take out or let out. Katrina here. Um, Eagle. And Lunya. Right, those are just some smaller courtiers. No one cares about them. Um, also, my rival, Gilar, I will keep them. And Fredia is also just a courtier that we don't really need. My uncle, of course, stays in there. Cheers, uncle. I hope you're going to enjoy your stay there for now. Let's continue. I would really love to expand my empire, but the problem is that Sweden has gotten really powerful. We have still something up there, also really powerful. Not easy at the moment. So what can we do? We could go for some raiding. We could also focus a bit on the managing of our own domain since we have so much prestige right now. My wife is focusing on stewardship anyway, right? Yes. Yeah, domain limit. I would really like to increase that. I would really like to keep five domains for now. Um, we are also going to disrupt these schemes for now. Once again, she's not endorsing me. Let's give her some money there again so she starts endorsing us. Thank you very much. Gives me some tax income there in addition. And yeah, we have we have gotten um, those territories up here, right? With Oh, actually with a high control rating right from scratch. It belongs to us. This one here doesn't belong to us. This one here doesn't belong to us. Song belongs to us once again. I would really like to build something. Right, so up here we would have that. Or our island there. No, actually that was... What? Hjatland. That's actually our, our uncle who's got this territory. Hmm. I didn't know that. All right. Difficult. Difficult where we go from now. I think we just have to wait a bit for some events to trigger. And we somehow need to wait um, for this kingdom here to collapse somehow. Perhaps we can help with that. Stay tuned. <laughs> 